Hot air balloons work because air expands when it heats up, so it becomes less dense than the air around it. According to the ballooning handbook of Don Cameron, a cube of air 10 feet on each side, which is about 3 meters, contains about 34 kilograms of air, or about 76 pounds. To get our heads around that, we build a cube. I'm sitting on the ladder inside the cube, and I weigh 75 pounds. So that would be almost the same amount of weight as the air in this cube. Uh, <laughs> Hot air balloons are inflated first with powerful fans. A typical four person balloon holds air which, when it's cool, weighs about 2.6 tons. Then they heat the air inside with propane burners. When the air is warmed up to 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a typical operating temperature of a large hot air balloon, the air expands and some escapes out the bottom. The hot air inside the balloons now only weighs about two tons. That's still a lot of weight but it's only about three quarters of what it had been with cool air. You can see the difference of volume between warmer and colder air with your own eyes using an empty bottle and a freezer. Put the lid on tight to trap room temperature air. Put it into the freezer for two minutes or so. The bottle comes out quite dented because the air got smaller as it cooled. Why do some things float and other things sink in water? They flow in the water if the weight of the object is less than the water it displaces. The same is true in air. If something weighs less than the air it displaces, it will float. There he goes. In fact, we live at the bottom of an ocean of air. Things floating, whether in water or in air, are described by the Archimedes Principle.